the next uh, part of our uh, training is going to be demoing uh, a handful of tools, starting with Runway ML. Great. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you, Anthony. That was great. And thanks again, Anthony. That was great. Hey, you're welcome. It's fun. All right, so I'm going to be showing you guys pretty briefly a tool called Runway ML. And I've been with this group long enough to know that I'll have this question. I'm going to answer it up front. It is a paid tool. Uh, you, <laughs> it requires a subscription component, typically $15 a month. And then it has a credit system where you can buy credits to use the tool to do, thing like, do things like image generation and video generation. If you sign up for an account, they do give you just a little taste, you know, like any any good dealer does. If you you have some free free samples, you can do. So I encourage you to go check it out. But but this is a paid tool. Um, all right, can everybody see my screen? Okay, awesome. So so this is a platform like Dan said called Runway ML. Runway ML is essentially a suite of tools for both video editing and image editing. And so at a, at a fundamental level, it has a lot of different features and tools you can do. You can do things like we saw with, with Mid Journey or Canvas generating images from text. It also has some features where you can put in an image and expand the image into using um, some of their AI to, to extrapolate what could be on the edge of your image based on the AI and no other information. And it also has really cool tools for doing things like colorizing images or doing subtitles or even upscaling some of your content. What I find really cool about it is some of their, their magic AI tools. And, and some of those you might have actually seen, there were some popular videos search, circulating around about the Balenciaga version of Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter, where it took essentially people walking down a runway and turned them into fun characters. And so I'll show you really briefly how this works and some of the outputs. Um, so so the, the tool is very simple. You can just upload any video that you have. So this morning I recorded this really amazing video uh, of me dancing, which, which is out of scope for this lesson for me to teach you these dance moves, but you can just get a sense of, of how to use this tool. What then the tool allows you to do is either upload your own images or use some of their preset libraries to run your original video through a set of filters. So for instance, there's a, there's a neon filter where I'm not going to generate the full video on this demo because it does take about 15 minutes to, to do this processing. But I'll show you some of these previews and show you some videos I already did where essentially it takes my video feed and it will recast the video in the style of the image that is fed into it. You can do this with, with images that you upload. You can do it with some of their pre-trained image sets. You can also even prompt it. You can, you can tell it what you want it to do in terms of stylistic changes to the, to the video. And then you can have it go ahead and generate that content. Now, I uploaded a six-second video, so just to make sure you're aware of the limitations, this six-second video will probably take five to ten minutes to actually go through this process. So if you're uploading a ten-minute video, you can expect a, a quite a long wait time for these machines to do what they have to do image by image. But I'll show you what some of those examples look like just to give you some inspiration. So this, mor this morning, I did this very quickly. I uploaded some versions like that video you just saw of me busting out my sweet dance moves and asked it to put me on the moon. And here you actually have a very, fairly good video of, of me dancing with my microphone and they've, they've recast the entire background, not only as the moon, but it also looks like there's some videography equipment here. So I think it's trained on some data that might think the moon set was a hoax. Um, so some interesting biases in those training data, but essentially just takes that video and re-uploads it. There's also some really cool examples that I was able to generate in different styles. Now you also see some of the limitations coming through. This turned that dancing video into a fun claymation video. It also decided that my microphone was a tiny version of me that needed to be singing along while I was dancing, which, which I have amazing. to be honest, I didn't hate. <laughs> um, and at the same time, this tool can also do some janky things. Like I tried to, to ask it to, to turn me into a cartoon dog and got what looks like the, as I call the thing of nightmares here, where, where some, some weird version of me is a, is a dancing dog. And it thinks that the weights in the back of my room, there's a small animal that's staring at me creepily. Um, but then there's also some really good practical effects. So that's fun examples of doing stylistic things. And I've actually seen creative companies doing things like replacing motion capture with human actors, and then using a tool like this to translate the video from human video to something like a certain artistic style for certain types of, 
of, of mediums or short form videos. But it also has some interesting tools that are just very easy for, for removing backgrounds. So th this wasn't perfect. You'll still see it would take some post-production work to remove the background here, but this was a click of a button that it just took out everything behind me without a green screen and did a fairly good, a fairly good cut. There's also some examples that could be practical if you're concerned about privacy and security. And I'll show this one to you live where my wife walked in and saw that video of me dancing and said, you cannot put that. You can't show that to 300 people. Do not put that on the internet. And I said, well, what, what if we just ran it through a really quick AI tool to detect my face and blur the face. And you guys just watched that live. I uploaded that video and within three seconds, this is doing a face detection and blurring out my face. So now there's no way in the world you would know that that's me busting out my funky dance moves. So I would encourage you, there are free versions of this tool to just get a little sample of these functionalities. Check it out. It's just at runwayml.com. And it's got a whole lot of cool things, both for doing things like video translation, but also images. And so that's all I wanted to show you guys today to just get some of those juices flowing on creativity. Amazing. Thank you, Jeff. And um, we're actually going to get a chance to meet your wife in a couple of sessions. She works at Disney. And uh, I, don't, I don't know what you did, but you prevailed upon her to join us for session seven. She did do a, a small cameo uh, two sessions ago um, when she had a... Uh, you g gave her a mustache, uh, but now we're going to actually see her uh, in her full resplendent beauty. So thank you, you know, for sharing her with us and we look forward to hearing from her.